Wow. Again. Again, I, I just have to thank James Corden and the rest of the staff for having me tonight. This is really an honor. This is my first late night show guest hosting, so I, I don't know what to say. It's a dream come true. This is Sir James's desk. It's so good. <laughs> okay, that's old. Now. You may remember from my monologue, I mentioned that before I got into comedy, I was a practicing doctor for seven years. And the thing I miss most about being a doctor is helping people, is talking to people about their symptoms, which is why, for this next bit, I thought it would be fun to turn the cameras around and give you, the audience, an opportunity to ask me any medical question you might want answering. This is Medical Q&A with Dr. Ken. Uh, this is exciting, and I, you know, and I just want to remind everyone at home: these are real people with real questions <laughs> from a fake celebrity. All right. <laughs> so, okay, first up on the list, um, where is Jennifer H? Anyone? Say yes. Hi, Jennifer. Stand up, sweet. You stand up. Stand up. How are you doing? Uh, my question is. How do you treat reflux after you've tried proton pump inhibitors, H2 antagonists, and antacids? Wow, great question. Because after trying all the reflux therapies, like H2 inhibitors, proton pump inhibitors like Prilosec, what else can you take for reflux? At this point, it's best to go to a gastroenterologist, maybe get an endoscopy, see if there's something else going on with said reflux symptoms. And if there's nothing going on with said endoscopy, perhaps you just may need conservative treatment, just like reflux precautions, not eating three hours before you go to bed, really just stick to protein and vegetables and less of carbs, less of purine-rich foods. Drop the mic. I just cured a life. I'm the real deal. I'm the real deal. I just save a life. <laughs> All right. Um, Tamer C. Tamer? T yeah, Tamer. Tom. Hi. 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 Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, it's a Turkish name, like Tamer. Oh, Tamer. Okay, yes. great, great. So my question is, yeah. I have like, when I study for my exams, I have like anxiety the day ex the exam is. So what can I do not to have the anxieties? Okay, well, do you have, I don't know, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, do you have like maybe rich parents or something, you know? <laughs> You can just drop out. No. Doctor's orders. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but I, I, I would say, honestly, I'm, it's coming from a guy. I, have te I had test anxiety in med school. I actually failed the medical board exams three times <laughs> in med school. Those tests are racially biased. They are. <laughs> <laughs> against Asian students who don't study very hard. So, but it, it's, it's beside that. But I would say, honestly, knowledge is power. The more you do it, the more times, you know, you just take tests. It, it, it's like riding a bicycle. You know, you may fall down every now and then, but you get back up, you'll be fine. You're preparing, you're doing the best you can. You have a jean jacket. You look great, you know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing to stress out about. Give a Thank tamer. You. Give it up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, um, what is next? And, and I? Hi. Hi, look at that. Look nice. Nice jacket. Um, I was wondering how you feel about people self-diagnosing themselves by Googling their symptoms. Oh, you're not one of them, are you? <laughs> you, you don't go, guys, stop, seriously, as a former doctor who doesn't practice anymore, it's because of patients, stop Googling your <laughs> all right? It never works. You think you're helping us out, it never helps. A patient came up to me and was like, you know what, I looked it up online, Dr. Jung, you know, I got right-sided pain, it's an ovarian cyst. You're a dude, knock it off, you know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Honestly, this kind of Google knowledge, WebMD, if you're a medical professional, it's good for adjunct, ancillary knowledge. Don't Google it. It'll only make you more anxious. It'll only make you more upset. Just see a doctor. If you don't like what that doctor says, get a second opinion. And if you don't like that second opinion, buy a new jacket. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. And that is all the time we have for these questions. If I didn't get to your questions, please consult another non-TV doctor. We'll be right back. Thank you, guys.